How's it going guys, Jackson here with the Toasty Bros, and today I'm going to be finally doing what I promised I was going to do. So I'm going to be putting this Mini ITX Ryzen base board inside of here, the Ryzen Editor's Edition box right there. And then I'm going to be putting the Ryzen 1700X in there also with the 750Ti, and hopefully it's going to create a really awesome build and it's going to be finally a completed product, so we hope you guys enjoy. So real quick before we get into this video, enter promo code TOASTYBROS on gamersubs.gg and get 10% off. Each one of these comes with 60 servings, and me personally, I like the Akai Blueberry, but there's all sorts of different flavors on there. So go check out their website now, and let's get back into that video. Let's go ahead and get out that 1700X. So this is actually just the standard 1700X, I believe it's the 95 watt version. Um, this board actually supports up to 95 watts, so should be just perfect for this build. So let's go ahead and lift up this latch here. And now let's go find some thermal paste. Alright guys, we got it all put together, so uh, the fans are a little loud right now, they're on like super hyper overheat mode, not really, but I need to go through on the BIOS and set these up, but you can see this board actually does have a little bit of uh, LED action to it, and um, it looks pretty nice, I don't, I'm assuming it's customizable, I don't know if you can change the color or not with that, but it does have the, if you watch my unboxing video of this, it does have two, uh, plugins down here where you can basically have like LED strips, fans, just RGB, anything really. But overall though, it looks uh, really nice. Kind of basically looks the same as before. The new board looks really good though and um, the bigger cooler that is the Ryzen based cooler looks a lot better. But let's go ahead and get this plugged in so we can get some benchmarks going. Alright guys, so this game is Rocket League of course. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. It's a fairly new game um, and as far as graph, oh you know what, that was towards the air goal. <laughs> Um, as far as graphics go, it's actually a pretty, uh, you know, pretty decent game. It doesn't take too much to run it, but um, it definitely is a, a decent graphics um, game. How did he get that shot? Wow. Anyways, I got it, uh, the benchmark going right now. It should be going for 30 seconds. We're using Fraps. So you can see it just popped up in the other corner um, for some reason. So it looks like we're averaging about 80 right now. I'll just play this for a, a minute more just to let you guys kind of check out how it runs. So actually really awesome. The 750 Ti is really keeping up. I'm not too sure if um, this game like is uh, graphics hard oriented more of a CPU or um, exactly what it uh, you know really utilizes. I would kind of assume it seems like mostly a kind of both game but more of CPU if I did just throw a guess out there. So um, what we're going to do is go ahead and try another game now because we can see this runs perfectly smooth with no stutters. Okay so this is Counter-Strike Go or CS Go so I got everything pretty much uh, turned up all the way so let's go ahead and find a game. Alright so I've not played uh, Counter-Strike in a while so this is probably going to be pretty awful and my sensitivity seems like it's on uh, snail speed so. Oh, and, and my cursor is different. Gosh, everything's just completely changed. But anyway, so this is a CSGO. It's not a very graphics intensive game at all. Um, and I, I'd say your most computers can run it fairly well, but uh, you know there are some that can do it. And um, the 750 Ti, I'd say, is kind of like a perfect card for this game. Um, a perfect card for basically every game we play so far. But I am going to be throwing another game at it next that. Um, I think we'll kind of stop the, car, or the actual computer up a little bit, but um, I'm kind of curious on how much because I know I've tested it on pretty much all my builds before, and you know there's been times where I really couldn't reasonably play it, so we'll just have to see about that one. All right, guys. So the last game we're going to be testing is the game The Forest. So this game is kind of like the more um, high range game. So I kind of consider like Rocket League is kind of between lower range and mid-range. Um, Counter-Strike is basically just lower range at this point. And then The Forest is kind of up there with games like Crisis, um, I'm trying to think of what else, uh, Battlefield, kind of up there with those games. I'm not really, I can't really speak for you know how they are compared to them, but they're definitely up there with them um, in the category of high-end games. So you can see that we're getting about an average of, uh, I guess, between 40 and like 
43 FPS. So actually pretty impressive. I haven't seen it go below 40 yet. Okay, we got 39 there, but and we're not getting any like major stutters or anything. That's really good. You know, it's it's one thing to have a computer that'll you know get a certain amount of FPS, but it's another thing to have one that's holding that constant FPS. And I really do think a lot of that is based on the Ryzen um, processor here. Uh, the 750 Ti is kind of just making it to where we can play the game, um, get the FPS that we're getting, but then the, I think the processor is really is what is holding us up there at that FPS, otherwise we'd have a lot of stuttering and stuff. But really impressed though with this build for only having a 750 Ti and fairly low budget honestly, and maybe Matt and I might honestly end up doing some type of budget build um, with the same type of uh, GPU and CPU in it. So let us know what you guys thought in the comments below about this legit Ryzen build now, and we'll see you guys later.